Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to You Live Everything in Wonder, and welcome back to Sicily. I'm Luca. This is Sara, and this little baby girl is Luce. Give us a smile. Yes. <laughs> this is our third episode of our properties hunting here in Sicily, and it will be a weird episode. Okay, this property we are seeing uh, right now. It's uh, super big. It has uh, 40 meters uh, ruin. Why we are looking for a ruin? I don't know. I believe it's good to dream. It's way over our budget. The reality is that we are living in this van that uh, sometimes is nice because you can just move from one appointment to another with your house basically, but it comes with a lot of uh, downsides, uh, like we have a limited amount of water and uh, it's a confined space, uh, so having a baby, we need to stop sometimes uh, in our BNBs uh, in order to have a washing machine, uh, take showers, uh, dry clothes. Uh. Yeah, because we have a toilet and an outdoor shower in this van. We have also hot water, but sometimes it's convenient for us, it's more convenient for us to stop and to have a laundry machine. It's even, um, it's even cheaper if you think about it, because if you have to use a laundry machine and a dryer in a place, you spend like about 10 euros or 15 euros because we have to do several uh, of them. So, and sometimes... So it can go up to 20 euros. Yes, and if we stop in some Airbnb, we pay like 35, 40, 45 euro a night and we can take a shower and clean the van, empty everything. Fill uh, up the water. And Lucia can have also more space to wander around. In today's episode, we will show you a few properties here, they are so different because we will start from Castellammare del Golfo and then we will go south um, and we also will see a villa that is over our budget but you know we say it's, it's nice to dream sometimes <laughs> yes. uh, and see what uh, a dream could be yes but first of all let's go because we have to refill our water tank yes it is pretty easy to find potable water in Italy. We ask recommendations to some locals and they always tell us where to go and where is the best water we can find. Yes, we try to fill up always with uh, potable drinking water our van. Even if we don't drink the water from our tanks, uh, yeah. it's good because we wash luce, we brush our teeth, we wash our dishes. So it's water that we can use also to cook. Yes and um, we only have about 50 liters of water so it lasts us uh, maximum one week we usually have breakfast lunch and dinner in the van and then we also have to wash ourselves and yeah eh, it's yeah. like three four days i would say yeah and i really need to give uh, sara a big shout out because she's uh, a master of using <laughs> really a little amount of water she's always cooking every day cleaning every day editing and taking care of luce of me Thank you, of mother. her so she's a champion she's Thank really a, a superhero <laughs> you are too i think it's the experience you know of living on the road like now uh, using a little water a little amount of water especially in lucky Liu, was very important but yeah, as I said, in Italy it's not a problem. You can find water everywhere. Just ask people, just ask locals, and you ask, dove posso trovare acqua? <laughs> See, it's where I can find some water. So, dove posso trovare dell'acqua? Now we will fill up the tank. It will take a while. Why I'm using this, Sara? So Luca is using a watering can because, as you can see, we cannot use a hose and there is no adapter that is okay for this. Yes, in many places here in Italy, the water from the spring, this is drinking water, you will find it this way. So you cannot attach a, a hose. So bring with you always uh, one watering can because uh, 
otherwise you will not be able to fill up uh, because you need to put it inside like this. Uh. And luckily our tank is small, so yes. it will take a while, but not forever. Yeah, basically this is uh, 10 liters, uh, so five times uh, filling up this uh, yeah. is enough to fill up our tank. You've been asking a lot about Luce, if she's crawling, she's walking. For the people that are new here in this channel, uh, probably you don't know that Luce was breached almost the entire pregnancy. And then uh, uh, we had uh, ECV, is an external cephalic version, so she was born then naturally. Uh, they turned Luce's around in my belly, like when I was 36 weeks pregnant, everything was fine. But she was breached the entire pregnancy and she had hip dysplasia when she was born. She was wearing a, a, a armless for about two months and everything is okay now. But we have, uh, as soon as we will be back at Lucky Land, we have to check for the hips. The doctor already said us, you know, children with hip dysplasia, they will walk later. So they will not, no, don't expect that she will be walking at 12 months, could be, but usually they will walk around 16, 17, sometimes 18 months, 19 months, uh, because this is the conformation of the hips and they will have a delay. The doctor also said that it's absolutely forbidden to use a walker or any kind of assistance to walk because this could be counterproductive and this could be really dangerous for de the development of the hip. We just need to wait till she will be ready to walk. For now she's pulling herself up, she has the strength to just, you know, stand and she's crawling on the bed, uh, on the floor she's just bump shuffling but yeah, she's moving around and so this is normal, everything is fine, she is healthy uh, so don't worry guys, thank you for your messages and just remember that every child has his own rhythm, timing, so we, we are pretty calm about this, we don't worry about this and Luce is super healthy. Water is done guys, so we can start talking about the properties, but before starting with today's episode properties, yes. we would like to tell you something about the land because we receive a lot of comments and questions about why you are looking for a ruin and you are not looking for a house already done yeah. or a building plot. So I have some notes here because it's really specific yes. and I don't want to say anything wrong. So. An essential aspect to be aware of when you are planning on purchasing a property, a land, a plot of land in Italy is that each plot of land is assigned to a specific purpose. Therefore, you need to look out for a plot of land for building purposes. The two key documents that can help you identify the type of plot uh, you are buying are the Piano Regolatore Generale that is the general town development plan, which lists the general purpose of each plot, and the piano particolareggiato, a complementary document which regulates any form of public and private works. In order to build on the plot of land you have chosen, it should be defined as building plot. Okay? Terreno edificabile. Terreno or construction plot or building plot. Terreno edificabile. So, Amore mio, why we are looking for a ruin? Okay, so if you buy already a house, a villa, it is super expensive and we will be showing you also this kind of option. And then there is the option of uh, finding a rural plot uh, yeah. with a ruin, which is way cheaper and uh, since there is already a ruin, uh, you can rebuild the ruin, uh, the square meters of the ruin uh, and uh, renovate it, which makes it faster, easier and cheaper than uh, buying a um, building plot uh, 
which usually are more expensive and then you need to add on top of that a project so you need to do a project for the house the project needs to be approved from the municipality and then after uh, the, the project is approved you need to get a company to build the house that you are looking for and that takes a lot of time effort and um, the cost to build a house here in Italy start from 1000 euro for square meter going up so if you're looking for a 50 uh, meters uh, square meters house uh, you are looking about 50000 euro just to build the house plus you need to add the cost of the of the building plot so it gets pretty expensive yeah and when you buy a construction plot or a rural plot you have two different um Come si dice, percentage of what you can build yes. on the property so of course if you buy a building plot a construction plot you can build a bigger house if you buy a rural plot or agricultural plot you can build a smaller house compared to the uh, size of the plot so it's pretty complicated yes. and what is really important to say in Italy you cannot just buy a plot and then start building whatever you want whenever you want you need every time a plan project and approval yes. from the municipality sometimes for the region yes. so it, it is pretty complicated so that's why I think a lot of people that are coming to Italy then they stop looking for properties because then it's easy to find properties everywhere you ask why there are so many ruins in Italy yeah. because it's pretty expensive to renovate it it's pretty expensive to the the, the, the process after the buying it's it's complicated so a lot of people get discouraged and they say okay you know what <laughs> yeah but we we yeah. we are used to that we are italian so we know how to manage and to go through all this process so for us uh, probably it's easier because uh, we already done it before because uh, of the language also yeah we it's yes. our first language uh, and um, I am a geometra. Basically, you can calculate uh, the structural part of the house uh, and uh, yeah, do place. many things. Uh, I only worked uh, as a geometra for a few years, uh, so I, I, I didn't follow that path, but uh, I studied to do that, so I know a lot of things. Uh, and um, so he can prepare the project and then this project should be approved, approved. So you, by an architect and an engineer so, so you, you need uh, this kind a of building permit yes to build. so sorry guys this was pretty long but we thought that we need to explain this to you because we've got a lot of questions yeah, about this and why are you using uh, searching for a ruin and uh, it will be so expensive to renovate a lot of time because the land will be cheaper and we also like the idea to bring back to life something that was old ancient yes as we did already with lucky land as we did with uh, lucky Liu, as we are doing with second chance we like to give a second purpose a second life uh, to things uh, because it could be easier to build something from new, but then it's not like uh, giving a, a second chance, a second life, a second uh, a purpose so, to something that it could be dumped or it could be abandoned. Uh, it, it would become a ruin and uh, it's a shame. Yeah, like yeah, Also absolutely. to honor the people who built that house in the first place uh, with uh, sweat uh, with a lot of work and uh, I mean uh, there are beautiful places that could be saved and we, we would like to do that yeah and in today's episode the first property the first land we're going to see is in Castella Mare del Golfo area so we are going west of Cefalù um, Castella Mare is uh, quite touristic. Uh, they it's are becoming quite touristic. Yes, it, yeah, touristic. it has uh, beautiful beaches uh, to swim. Uh, we we really liked uh, that place, so that's why we are going to see again uh, that area. And that area is really close to an area that is becoming more popular, popular every year. That is Copello. Uh, and there is also this natural reserve that is called La Reserva Naturale dello Zingaro, which is beautiful. You can reach several beautiful beaches, 
by boat or also by land is more difficult but you can hike um, so this property is quite big it's almost four hectares the request is about 70 75 thousand euros and you will see that there is a lot to do because there are a lot of trees on it and we really like the position of the land because it's close to pretty touristic area so even in the future it's something that could be it could be a good investment let's say at least sure. but probably it's too much for us but let's see the images and then let's talk about it <laughs> Eight hundred and sixty plants of olive trees, and then we have four hundred fruit trees. There is a ruin, two ruins. It's very big. The property is thirty-five thousand square meters. We are close to Scopello Castellammare del Golfo, and there is a beautiful view of the sea. Okay, this property we are seeing uh, right now. It's uh, super big, it's uh, almost uh, 35,000 square meters. It has uh, about 800 uh, olive trees, uh, which are a lot, and uh, 400 uh, agrumi, so plants of uh, oranges uh, or lemons or that kind of uh, plants. It has uh, a 40 meters uh, ruin and a 120 meters ruin on it but uh, the road to get there is pretty pretty bad so it needs to be built again and uh, this uh, property has been abandoned for many years so it needs a lot of work the pro is, uh, is really quiet over here and the property is really beautiful. It has these uh, white, uh, uh, almost pink rocks and the ruin is really, really beautiful. But from the 120 square meters uh, ruin, uh, there is no sea view, only from the ruin, uh, which is a little bit uh, up on elevation, uh, it has uh, the sea view but it's only 40 uh, square meters, so it's not so big, it's quite small. It's a, a storage, let's say. It has the possibility to build uh, about 350 square meters of uh, new construction, but I don't know. So this property is beautiful, but maybe it's too much for us in, in this moment because we need to start and we need to learn also and having like over 1,000 trees is a lot fruit trees and olive trees it's a lot we are not prepared for it we don't want to just in Italy we say fare il passo più lungo della gamba we don't want to jump there. in something too big for us uh, yeah. because our main job is creating videos uh, we want to be able to look after Luce 100%, so we don't want to get too weight on our shoulders. Okay. Plus, um, in the first video of the property hunt, uh, we explain you what are the must have uh, and uh, the check boxes of uh, our property hunt. And uh, one of the main uh, check boxes is uh, the view <laughs> and, uh, and accessibility. And this property, for those two reasons, uh, was not checking the boxes uh, like we like. Yes. And we are also looking for the quality of the soil. Yes. We so. always check the quality of the soil. So we, we see the trees, uh, how they are growing. Uh, and also, if we will buy eventually a property, we will analyze the soil. We will uh, ask uh, some uh, people that are... Uh, I used to do this uh, to check with us. Yes. So after this um, land, 
we stay a few days in Castella del Mar del Golfo, we stop in an Airbnb, we had an amazing time in this Airbnb with the pool, Lucio was playing with the cats, playing outside, we were able to book other appointments, we went to Erice, to Val d'Erice, there was another area that we love. Unfortunately, the, the property we were looking for and we really like went sold, uh, sold uh, two like... days before we we managed to get there. <laughs> Sono così piccoli non li ho mica visti tu ancora. Guarda, guarda, che bianco. guarda che carino, tutto bianco, amore. Fallo mangiare. Guarda, guarda, guarda che adesso li, mangi, li prendono il latte. Ma che bella che sei, guarda. Guarda che bei cucciolini che hai fatto. Guarda che loro prendono il latte. Piano, piano. We were pretty sad about the news. <laughs> they they sold the, the house that we like, but you know, we are seeing so many properties that it's okay. So we decided to continue our journey south. And another area that we really liked is the area in Agrigento area, so yes. in the south of Sicily, and we went to see a villa. An amazing villa. Yeah, it's way over our budget. It's way. 250,000 in euro but uh, I believe it's good to dream uh, and it's good also to see where your dreams could uh, bring you so for uh, for dreaming and also for uh, our search and uh, setting some bars we yes. decided to go and visit this villa anyways uh, and you never know maybe you'll win the lottery <laughs> and you are able to buy it uh, or you keep working and uh, in many years uh, you can uh, probably get one but let's see this property together with you
We haven't talked a lot uh, during uh, the, the visit of this villa because uh, first of all we were speechless for the beautiful view, the location and uh, we were with the owner and we love to talk uh, with the locals and uh, to share stories uh, so we mainly focus on that. It was a three floors villa. Yes. Um, the main problem was that the first floor, like the ground floor, was very the ceiling was super low was super low <laughs> was less than uh, two meters and a half so probably it was two meters thirty or even less yeah I had like this much above yeah. my head so this See, was kind of claustrophobic it was like oh, I cannot breathe inside yeah but the other two floors were really nice and beautiful so there were three apartments uh, a lot of outdoor space, the barbecue, the kitchen and some terraces, beautiful because of course you spend a lot of time outside, and the outdoor, pizza oven, pizza uh, it, oven. it had everything uh, that uh, we needed. The proximity to the sea. Uh, yeah, the view, reach. the road to reach the house was okay, it already had uh, electricity. The water, it had uh, a huge tank uh, and um, with 30 euros uh, you could call a, um, a truck and you would load uh, the the tank, uh, the water tank, uh, which lasts uh, for them, uh, they told us uh, it lasts uh, for uh, all summer. Yes. The problem was uh, two things. One, uh, they needed to fix uh, the documents uh, because they build and modify the house uh, and what, what do you mean when you say build and modify the house? They add some... Yes, so basically walls. what we said before in, uh, in today's video is uh, every single thing that you do in a building, you need the permission, you need to, uh, you need to have a project and uh, the project needs to be approved uh, and everything is written down at the municipality. So if you renovate a house if you change things in the house without doing all this process uh, that house uh, will not match the maps and uh, the all the things that are in the municipality and if they don't match uh, it is kind of illegal the house is uh, not uh, uh, it's illegal, I think it's the proper word, it's illegal. It's not safe also, could be not safe. Yes, because it, if it's not signed by, by an engineer who made all the math and it's saying, okay, you can do that and it's safe, uh, then uh, who knows if it's safe or not. So nobody wants to take the risk and sign. Uh, so well, it's okay if you're leaving in the house, but when... You, you try to sell to, it. To sell the house, you have to have all the documents. Otherwise, you cannot sign the deed. You cannot do anything, basically. Yeah, so, and even the price. Uh, if it's not legal, the price uh, should drop a lot. So asking to 250,000 euros for a property that is not uh, okay with the documents. Uh, and we don't also want them to embark in a, this kind of adventure. Yes. It would be a disaster in Italy because then if you don't receive the permits, if you don't receive the papers, then you have a property that has no value. Yes. And it's dangerous. So this was the first problem. And the second problem is that there, there is no land. Yeah, like, there is no land to plant uh, trees, uh, to harvest. Uh, it was 1,000, no, less than 1,000 square yeah, meters. The, the property was basically all built. Uh, the, it, it had a space uh, down downstairs where you could build a swimming pool, but yeah, but that's even it. that, uh, the owner said you can build a swimming pool, but even building a swimming pool, you, you need, need permits, <laughs> uh, permits so a lot of things. Everybody will tell you, oh, somebody, uh, buongiorno, Luce woke up. Uh, hello, my love. Ciao. <laughs> Okay, we always try to take advantage when Luce is sleeping uh, to film and talk with you guys uh, because uh, then when she wakes up, uh, she's super active, uh, she wants to play, she wants to, to chase the cats and the dogs <laughs> and go outside and go for a walk and uh, explore and uh, she's uh, really an active child. On, a on the table, okay. So that's why it's so a challenge uh, to live in a van, to travel in a van uh, and to work uh, and 
yeah. do everything with a, in a van with a, a, a child. Uh, it becomes, everything is a challenge. But, but it's longer, you take longer, longer for everything. Yeah. I need to add it during the night because we have the appointment during the day uh, and we have to film, but... We're yeah, doing we it. Do it. We're doing it. <laughs> so now we have to move because we have to go and buy some groceries because we are empty guys. Yeah, we fill up the water tank, but we need to fill up also the fridge. So And the bellies. And the bellies. So let's go buy some food and we catch you later. Would you like some bell pepper, some salad? What would you like to eat? Fruits, vegetables. Mozzarella, Luce, mozzarella. Bread. Bam. 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 Luca and Luce are playing outside. I need to organize all the groceries and then prepare lunch. They're outside. Buon appetito, my loves! Buon appetito! Mmm, luce tasty! Fava beans! Fave and lupini beans! Some mozzarella, peaches! And for daddy and mommy, some salad bread! Buon appetito! This is the reality of a life. At soon we finished uh, eating lunch, it started raining hard. So Sara is editing, Luce is sleeping. We can hear the rain outside, uh, see the rain on the windows. And there is nothing we can do. We stay inside and we wait. After the land in Castellamare del Golfo and the villa in Palma di Montechiaro. We visited lots of other properties, uh, always in the south of Sicily. We are in the province of Agrigento, we are in Sciacca. We are seeing this ruin. It is pretty big, but the land is not so big. And unfortunately, we can already see that Beside the beautiful view, we have just a highway and you can hear everything. You can hear the cars and something that we don't want. We want something peaceful. So anyways, let's see how it is. Buongiorno. Buongiorno.
and we went also in the Ragusa area that was beautiful because you can see everywhere this white slash pink rock and all this this handmade um, drywall beautiful Likes the cows. But unfortunately, the view of the sea was not so special in that area. We stopped a few days there and then uh, um, we decided to change area. So for now, it's still raining outside. It's very terrible weather. We are experiencing uh, bad weather. Everybody is telling us that, that this May is kind of strange, weird. They never experienced a May like this. It was raining almost every day, if not every day. Now, as soon as we finish to rain, we will have a walk outside and then we will catch you later, guys. And for today's episode is everything, guys. Thank you for coming along with us. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, please share to us, mention the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. We love you, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us and stay with us. We'll see you next Sunday and remember, la vita bella. Life is beautiful and... Love always wins. L'amore vince sempre. sempre. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so tired. <laughs> Pronto? 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 Say bye bye. Bye bye. Ciao guys. Ciao. <laughs> kiss, kiss. Boom. <laughs> Sunglasses. Yeah! Da 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 da